Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to etch your high carbon steel forged blade. I'm going to show you my method for achieving a very clean, neat and even etch. Join me and I'll show you this simple trick. Here are the ingredients for your successful knife etch. First we have liquid brasso, any liquid polish will do. I like brasso, it gives me the best results. And some Q20 or WD40 or whatever poison you prefer to lubricate your blades. Your favorite choice of bog roll and some 4-0 steel wool. Of course, let's not we forget the knife. The first thing you're going to want to do is degrease your blade. You can use a degreaser or what I use is an 800 grit sandpaper and I give it a quick once over to make sure there are no fingerprints or any residue left on the blade. This works perfectly fine for me. You can use the degreaser if you so desire. So this blade's been all cleaned up and it's ready for the etch. We're now going to stick it into the etching solution that I use. I use ferric chloride, I use about a 40-60 to water, 40% ferric chloride, 60% water. Here we have our polished blade up to 800 grit. It doesn't have to be perfect because the etch will even it out. Here's our ferric chloride and in we go. I put it in for a couple of seconds and I pull it out to make sure there's no dust or residue sticking to the blade. I just give it a once over wipe you can see there's a couple of spots here so we're just getting those, rubbing those off then I'm going to put it in, now we don't leave it in for much more than 20 seconds so I don't even bother with a a clamp to hold it on and leave it in while I go do other things pull it out to make sure it's being etched evenly which it is Okay, I'll do another few seconds. And that's it. That's all you need. Obviously, if your solution is weaker, you will have to hold it in for a slightly longer. The next step is to take this and wash off all the ferric chloride. Here I've got soapy water. I just want to neutralize the acid there we go acid neutralized now we're going to take and dry it with our favorite brand of bog roll giving the blade a dry okay now you see it appears a little bit blotchy it's not going to be a problem. The brasso is going to take care of that. Make sure the tang is dry as well. And you don't want to accidentally put water on the blade now. So everything is dry. Now the next step is our brasso. We give the brasso a good shake to mix, make sure all the polishing compound is mixed up. Next we're going to just take some of our loo paper. And okay, now this is old, old brasso, so I'm going to have to use more than I usually use. You see the black disappears as you rub all the oxides off. Now that's what the brasso is doing. It's polishing all those oxides off. Next step is to give it a thorough once over with a clean piece of tissue paper. Just cleaning off any residue of the brasso. And we're almost there. So there's the blade. 
It's got a nice satin sheen to it because of the edge. Last step involves the steel wheel and the Q20. Give the blade a quick spritz. And then with your steel wool, kind of massage the oil in. If there are any more inconsistencies on the surface of your steel, the wool will sort it out. Now the steel, this 4-0 steel wool is so fine, it's not going to leave any scratches on your blade, but it will on the micro surface even everything up nice and neatly don't forget the back and your trail and once that's done you can either leave it like it is or give it one more wipe you'll see that the when we wipe it again a little bit more black comes off. That's just this, this last layer that you're rubbing off. And there you have it. And there you have it. A beautiful etched blade ready to have a handle assembled on it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.